Okay, I'm at the lower end of what's it called? Lava River Cave. The official end, <laughs> not to confuse the actual end. All right, but anyway, I'm just gonna look up on the side. As you can see, it's super wide, but um, long story short, we're not allowed to go any farther because the ceiling's really low. Long story short, it ends at about 300 feet and then it's completely blocked by sand. So unless you want to get a shovel here and start digging to find the actual end of the cave, we're done. In fact, from what I heard, like where the actual end is, it curves down, the ceiling curves down. And then um, basically the sand is so wet, you're basically digging a well at that point. So that's why they gave up. Anyway, long story short, I heard there's people like going to the bathroom back there and garbage like that. So that's why they don't allow people back there. So they go back there and do stupid stuff. Honestly, what I would do if I own this cave, I would like give people a backpack and say, okay, if you come back with sand from the end of the cave, I'll pay you a dollar a pound. <laughs> so people come here and work. But anyway. Yeah, that's kind of a waste. Like I said, I doubt it goes much farther. I don't think there's any more caves in this system. This is part of the New Perry Volcanic Monument. Obviously, there's other caves around here, but not necessarily part of the same tube system. Okay, so I'm on my way out. I think next time I'll pause the video. I've been here at least an hour, a little over an hour. Actually, I think it's been an hour and a half. I'm supposed to be done in two hours, but that's completely unreasonable. I mean, they know it's a mile long, what the heck? Some of us are slow. Oops. See, there's a cool one on the ceiling. Let me see if I can show that without tripping. It's a lot of small formations like that. Really small in this cave. Wow, hold on. There's another crack that goes back at least a couple feet. Crazy. Hmm. Pretty ceiling there. It was funny, the breakdown looks like 20 feet of ceiling broke down, but there's only like a couple feet of breakdown rock. So the rest is probably underneath the sand here. So that should give you an idea how deep the sand might be here. Suspicious, isn't it? Huh, it's another hole in the ceiling. We're breaking down the pile. Oh, there, that might be the rock. That could have been the rock that came from the ceiling over there. Hard to tell. All right, here's the, where I need to go. What's interesting, the floor actually goes up a little higher here. Whoops, focus. See, it loses focus in a tenth of a second. It takes 10 seconds to focus again. Anyway, long story short, you could just dig a trench here in the sand and make it easier to get through. That just kind of spoiled the fun. I think I like it the way it is. Just gotta remember, watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Did I mention watch your head? Come almost back to the part with all the puddles on the floor. I'm gonna get this on video again. Focus. There we go. I'll 
Okay, if the stupid thing will focus, I will try and get on video. Oh, that's funny. It's like a log there. So I just brought that in. There's no way it walked by itself. I don't think. <laughs> Sounds like a Stephen King movie. All right, here we go. Okay, focus. There we go. Focus. Get out of there. Man. So, <clears throat> so, let's yeah. kind of focus. There we go. I have it set for like fast focus, so sometimes it just gives up or something. I must have a timeout or something. Alright. Of course, part of the problem is I'm shooting at f over 1.8, so it has a pretty shallow depth of focus. That makes it a little trickier. Hmm, look at the light there. Or the way the wall is peeling off. Wow, see quite a ways back in there. If you dare. Huh, a little bit of color there. I like this gray texture in the middle. It's like so glossy and shiny. Ooh, ah. Uh. And it gets a little bit different. Wow. <laughs> it's not most impressive, but like 15 feet up the wall, there's a small formation sticking out. I think that happens when there's like pressure in the wall and it kind of oozes out like toothpaste. Not 100% sure. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all like almost peeled off, but you can see way back there a ways. So this was almost, almost break down, but it didn't quite come all the way off. Huh. It's like those dark spots. I'm not sure if those are clean spots from moisture or something else. Hard to tell. It's pretty red there. But look how thick the wall lining is here, the cave lining. It's like some places, it's a few feet thick. I think this red rock is from before the lava flow, previous layer of ground. Terra firma, what do we call it? Regolith. It's 
weird you can see the cracks from this angle. I didn't notice them on the way in. Man, look at that. You could almost crawl back in there. And, but look at the top, how it's really thin. I wonder if you climb that, if it would like break off and squish somebody. Gotta be careful. Oops. Here's the part where the ground's a bit uneven. One little puddle. Strange place for a puddle. Shiny that mud is from being a little bit wet. Well, I guess that's redundant. Wet, wet mud. Well, I guess there is dry mud. Hmm. Well, whatever. Anyway. I think these are technically sand castles too. <clears throat> Notice the cool vertical shapes. Kind of cool. This come on. We can walk out there. Or should we take the low road? Huh. Let me see if I can go out here. I think I can go out here. Huh. Uh oh. I think I found a dead end. Oh no, I can go down here. It's a video light for like oh. stage season. Got a quarter by 20 mount. Wonderful light. Yeah, designed for video. <laughs> oh, you want a picture? I can yeah. come back farther. Well, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. Just, why not take your... Oh, okay. Oh. So nice. Yeah. It's up to 100 watt. Here, watch it. Is it 50% right now? Oh, that's why, huh? Here's 100% right there. Wow. See the whole cave, but it overheats if I leave it 100% too long, so I just save it for the good parts. Yeah, put it on the camera, man. Oops, went the wrong way. What's really cool is it's designed for video, too, so it has adjustable white balance. See, there's blue. It's kind of brown, so you can do whatever you think makes sense. Usually, I kind of leave it in the middle. Well, yeah, Oops! There we go. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. Somebody tried to dig a tunnel under there. Is that natural? Darn if I know. 
Look how dry the wall is here though. It's weird. Parts of this cave are wet, part of it are dry. Very uneven. <laughs> so, here's another. See, here's another trench between the wall and the sand. I'm trying to get a good video of it, but with my camera's focus, it's not working out very well. In technical terms, it's a piece of junk. <laughs> well, anyway. See, I can make it a little bluer. There we go. Makes a little more sense. A little bit pretty. Man, this cave sure zigzags a lot. Turn left, turn right. Oh wow, look at this. Oh cool, look at this. There's like a straight line here of uh, water. It's because there's a ridge on the ceiling. So the water's dripping from the ridge on the ceiling. So the shape of the uh, water holes on the floor match the ridge shape on the ceiling. It's like lithography <laughs> or etch, mechanical etch. Anyway. Yeah. Still disappointed I haven't seen any bats. Cave this big, you'd think there'd be something in it besides rock. The last group of people I just passed, they had a toddler, little girl. <laughs> kind of cute walking around in the cave. All right, yeah. Okay, it's a few small formations. Again, I already got this side on the way in, but I want to do it again. I think this time at the sand castles, I'm gonna turn the video all the way, or the brightness all the way up. Make sure I get it good on video. Okay, I'm back to the uh, sand garden, protected by a big bad fence. All right, I'm gonna turn it up to 100% for a second. Ground's a bit uneven here. It's trying to go in. There's a wire. I'm not sure where there's a wire. It's suspicious.
Okay, so. Okay. So there's that pretty ceiling again. Didn't change since last time. There's a nice rock, down, rock pile, breakdown pile. Cool crack right there. Of course, there's cracks all over the ceiling. There's like one little missing rock up there. Somebody called, check the lost and found. Uh -uh. Does that one count in formation? Be darn. Cool. Alright. I think I can pan down now. My arm's getting tired from holding my light up. Alright, here we go. Here's a place for the ceiling. Whoa. Really glossy for no apparent reason. So they must have broken off, left a shiny spot, something like that. See, so look at this on the rock here. It's all the sand, and there's clean spots where the water has washed away the sand. There's that one hole again. I think I already looked at that on the way in. Didn't change. Wow. Got some nice lights coming up this way. What's up? Notice all the different colors here, the gray rock and then brown sand. Whatever that mystery white stuff is. Very interesting. <laughs> About time to switch batteries on my camera again. and dry though. And they're really rough at the bottom. Some nice lava there.
where the part where the ceiling is like 80 feet tall. I was like, wow, look at that. I didn't know we were that far underground. Actually, I don't even know how far underground we are. I think they said where we go underneath Highway 97, we're like 300 feet underground, something crazy like that. So, well, at least there's still a ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course, that means we're almost to the part where there's two levels, upper and lower. I'm only going to do the lower. I'm a beginner. I don't know anything about keeping. Right, here we go. So there we are. There's like a natural bridge. That's how shiny and glossy it is right there. It's another natural bridge. all the rocks here, both sides. There's another natural bridge. Wow. Holy cow. I think there's a huge formation on the ceiling, but it's way too far away for my camera to see. Unless I had a tripod and took a minute long exposure, which sounds like fun. Maybe next time I come in here, I'll bring my camera. I mean, tripod. Hmm. We'll see. Notice the wall's not particularly dome shaped, it kind of bulges out. Okay, this is the sign about the tube in a tube. Two layer levels of the cave, basically. And here, it's almost a railroad track formation. Sounds like a whole herd of kids coming. I wonder if it's a, what's it called? School field trip. See, today is Thursday, right? No, yeah, well, Thursday. Notice how rough it is up there. Like cave popcorn almost. Wow. If you really wanted to that upper level. Wow, yeah. Well, I don't think there's an easy way up there, that's for sure. Hmm. I wonder if there's a rule about bringing your own ladder to this cave. Sounds like fun. Look at the color up there. It's gone. Hi. Oh, yeah. So obviously all this rock came from the wall. 